red tape. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. That's that's really disappointing. What what do you really, mean? What like um, really? What, what kind of red tape are we talking about here? Like special? Oh, red you tape know what that? kind of red tape we're talking about. You know, someone's gonna be in touch with you, Jeff. Someone's gonna be in touch with you from the permit office. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Hermitcraft episode. I hope you guys were all having a great day. Thank you guys so much for all the positive words on the last episode. Since then, I've been to the doctor. Things are a little bit better, but I still got to work through some challenges. But I know that you guys have my back, so we're going to be great. So in today's episode, I have a lot of fun with a bunch of other hermits. We're doing some building at the base today, and we're setting up a sort of a new shop in the collective area because we have some glass and uh, the glass collective is kind of trying to take over the game yeah definitely today's video is sponsored by the craft idea minecraft server craft idea is a community-based public minecraft server that has been running since 2018. this minecraft server is known for its towns skills custom blocks build competitions free cosmetics and so much more Having recorded videos on this server before, I can tell you firsthand that interacting with the community on here has been so much fun. Not only that, but just building with all the new fun custom things is such a blast. The awesome team that develops this server has set up a command for us. The first 500 people that use slash redeem iJevin will get crate keys and free cosmetics to play with when they're on the server. So be sure to check out the IP in the description as well as all of the relevant links. And thank you again to Craftedia for sponsoring today's video. I think the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and check out the shopping district to see how many diamonds we have made from the Elytra shop. Last time I checked, I think we had one sale. So let's see what we got. Hopefully it's like all the diamonds in the world, right? Because that would be pretty fantastic. So this is the part of the glass collective that I am in with. So we are going to set up one of those little shops today as well. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Something good. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. That's 175 diamonds, baby. Wow. I am so surprised that we sold that many Elytra. I thought because of the game was like so far into mid game that there was no shot we were selling that many. Oh, dude, that's wonderful. Now I have more Elytra to restock this as well. So that's going to be pretty fantastic. Since then, a bunch of other shops have already popped up. Uh, Stress's Neon Shop, which, hey, no, no. Stress's Neon Shop looks amazing. There's a Bones card here. This is awesome, dude. The shopping, I missed this shopping district so much in the last couple of seasons. It like season seven was like such a, a don't you, don't leave me alone. Yeah, pause the video because I accidentally traded the permit to Azuma in the previous video. Totally forgot. So just ignore all of this. Oh, I'm so glad. I just came to check up on you and see how, see how you are. You know, I ain't seen you in a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. I'm doing awesome. Just dandy. Awesome. I'm excited to get your post box post box installed. Oh yeah, I uh, marked the spot. Ooh, do you mind if we talk about that real quick? Just, yeah, just yeah. Real quick. Let me. Don't uh, want to interrupt you too much. No, let me meet you outside. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, is this a spot here? Is is it right that you wanted it facing out? You want it facing out this way? Uh, is actually, this, is this you, side the front. You know, I th I think um. Well, here's the thing, right? Hip or mm -hmm. X has got kind of all kinds of uh, blocks going on here. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but I think I would actually mm -hmm. prefer it facing the other way towards the front of my house. So ah, just, yeah, so you're facing there. this way? Yes. Wait, oh yes. wait, this way. Is this uh, uh, this is looking front. forward this way, out this way. Gotcha. Okay, I just yeah. want to double check with that. I can. Um, I, wasn't too sure. I can change the size of it if you need me to, just to be safe, but. Uh, yeah, honestly, well, I think, yeah, the main thing is yeah, just change the size and stick down a sign saying uh, front facing here and then he'll know what to do. Perfect, nice and easy. perfect. And you said it was uh, how many sizes? Seven by five? It was like, it's like six by seven, I think. Something like that. <laughs> six, seven, one, two, three. Perfect. Beautiful. We'll be able to get you uh, installed and into the system pretty soon then. I'll be looking forward to it. Awesome. So one thing really quickly have you ever mm -hmm. like i have a friend that's a a male person and yeah. he literally yes. walks like forty-five thousand steps a day 
Oh are you gosh, are you yeah, ready? Is... Uh, you need to, they need horses, right? <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like you're just gonna use a mule. I don't have to walk anything. I'm you're just like, I'm doing that. And... No. <laughs> mule. <laughs> awesome. I ain't walking anywhere. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm gonna get oh, back to man. sorting. It was great talking to you. Of course. Just wanted to check in. Good yep. luck with your sorting. Thank lady, you. Lady of and um, oh, wait, that was last you know, season. feel free to bother me anytime. <clears throat> of course. Get to Bye. Me, Jeff. Bye. All right, so as you saw, I discussed with Pearl about getting the mailbox installed. Etho came by eventually and put this in. Now, I got to be honest with you, I kind of don't remember how it works. I'm going to have to watch a video or learn how to use this thing. Like I said, you know, I've been so AFK on the server dealing with things that I really haven't had a chance to pay attention. Like this pathway, it's new. I've not seen this before till about two minutes ago. It looks pretty fancy. And I'm guessing that it's um, how X is going to differentiate our base. And that's where the, the pathway is going to go for the, or I guess the river that falls is going to be installing. And that works out pretty well then, because like, uh, I, I never really had plans to use this side of the base anyways. So that works out pretty well. So I, um, I, I want to build over there, which we'll be talking about later in today's video. I definitely, definitely need to connect our path up to this, but I don't have any of these blocks. So we'll have to get to that. I think the first thing that we need to do though, to just like get back into the groove and just start working on things is we need to add on to our starter base because right now we have a tiny, tiny storage room and we just. We really need more room. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a basement to this house. We're going to do a short time lapse, uh, showing you guys more of the build because the dig was, you know, quite easy. Not a problem there. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll kind of go over a review of it when we come back. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Um, I've had this idea for this basement for a while. One of the reasons that I built in the location that I built in was because of that river back there. Well, that like little tiny like lake thing was back there. Uh, I wanted to have some sort of walkout basement, and I thought that that would be the perfect spot for it. So let's go down and check it out, I think. Uh, so I decided to keep this here. Uh, I really couldn't think of anything else to go here. And this is a good spot to keep the diamonds for the diamond challenge in, which is what we have so far. And all of our, the rest of our permits. So we go downstairs. Uh, and again, we're, we're always like really looking to do two things with our builds. Number one, we're always trying to make them look aesthetically pleasing, obviously. But the second thing is, is that we we always want to remember that Minecraft is a game of using function over anything else. So we need to make sure that we try to mix those two together as well as possible. So uh, walking in, we have our storage room. If you turn to the right, we have a bit of a smelter area. Then we have a bit of uh, enchanted book storage. Um, now, I will show you some clips a little bit later, but we uh, ended up getting some Swift Sneak stuff uh, during a stream. 
And like I said, I'll show you those clips in a little bit. Uh, but coming down the stairs, I, I really wanted this to continue that sort of aesthetic to where uh, it feels very cozy and warm. Uh, using the same sort of tactics with the blocks, plenty of light. Uh, I've got light pretty much under every single trap door, I think. Um, and I just, I wanted it to feel um, super, super kind of just cozy down here. And by the way, we have accumulated quite a bit of stuff. And this is kind of why I wanted a bigger storage space. Um, by the way, Joe came through with that, that coal that day. That was, that was pretty clutch. Uh, by the way, mob heads doing pretty well. Uh, I've collected quite a few hermits as well. So Joe, Hypno, I have four of myself. I have Rendog. Uh, I was going to say I have Pearl too, but I couldn't find it. So as we go through these, you'll see that I have a lot more stuff. Uh, everything is like pretty good. We also have some armor trims. I think I kind of want to do some armor trim stuff today as well. Uh, I have a lot of golden apples actually. So let's put these with the other one. So we have total of eight golden apples and then everything else that I own here. I've been using this as my empty chakra box storage. So this is the walkout. And then uh, to go into free cam here for just a minute, I've uh, did a little bit of foliage coverage. This is probably gonna change a lot. I kind of want to extend this over. So I decided not to make any permanent changes in the front here. Same with the blocks underneath. We're never going to see those blocks. So I decided not to touch it just yet because, you know, it probably could change. Um, overall, I'm, you know, extremely, extremely happy with how the base is looking and feeling. Uh, I'm always fighting that sort of aesthetic thing. This is by the Elytras. So um, I did go to... Um, get some ancient city writing done when i was streaming during the streams we found quite a bit of good items not only did i find these things here i found a bunch of golden apples i didn't find silence yet but um i don't do i i may have enough enchanting power to get that done i should have a swift sneak three i think i have maybe i thought i think i had like probably five of them in total so there's number two i'm guessing it's probably over here then right there we go. So, um, still, still kind of trying to figure this area out. I think I need to put anvils down here. Uh, as we play, we'll kind of understand what we want to do more. So this and this, ah, yes, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, now the clip I'm going to show you, uh, with the rating first, I'll show you kill me a uh, killing a warden. But when I was exploring and looking for these ancient cities, I actually found an ancient city that was underwater. And it's kind of terrifying, to be honest with you. Like the noise is like really amplified. So I hope you enjoy this. So let's see, take this and this. Leave that, you and you. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. This is like, is this going to be the easiest one we've ever been in? This is so awesome. Oh my God. Diamonds. The only thing that makes this better is if we get silence. If we get silence in this, then it's untouchable as a, as a loot grab. Uh, that scared the absolute crap out of me. It's pretty terrifying. I've already killed two wardens tonight. That's so freaky.
Why does it sound like there's like 5,000 wardens in that one spot? I think I'm going to keep my bow with me. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. It's kind of a little bit like of a random clip montage because that was all stuff from a stream. It was a lot, a lot of fun going down there though. I got to say, uh, so quickly, a few things we need to do. Number one, we need to make a smithing table so we can add some stuff to the stuff with the stuff. So get that. So this time I think instead of using diamonds, I'm probably going to use amethyst shards because it looks incredible. Uh, so we'll let that cook. We just need to get a couple ingots to make the table. Uh, and then we need to look and see, we have a few different templates here. Uh, I have no idea which I'm going to mix and match yet. I want to kind of see what they look like together. Um, but normally I do have my preference. I really like silence. It's one of my favorites, um, but let's see. So we have the let's grab all three of these let's kind of see what they look like together um I, i'm assuming that these um the helmet ones are probably going to be pretty close to the same thing here Ooh, that one looks pretty good it's only got the dot on the side of it though that one's pretty cool that one's uh i don't know what that one is that one's coast uh you you know what i think i think ward is the first one there we go Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, that, that looks pretty good, actually. I like that. Okay, so now that we've seen what the front looks like, it just has that, like, sort of line across it. Let's do the pants now. Again, the 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 trim here with the amethyst looks incredible. I like it a lot. Uh, okay, what about this one? Ooh, you know, that one might work pretty well. I think I'm going to avoid that one, but I think... I don't know if I want to do this one. Or let's see what this one looks like. I don't think I like that one very much. It's okay. I think I want to do the, either this one or this one. Maybe not that one. <laughs> I don't think I like that one either. Let's try this one. So it looks like. There we go. Ooh, fancy. All right, let's get the boots done. So eh, that doesn't really match all that well. So let's uh, here. No, definitely not that one. That one's not bad. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, maybe. And what's this one look like? Eh, I think this one. Yeah. All right. So let's look at our old oh, brother. Brother, look at us. Oh, that's so cool looking. I like that a lot, man. So for our uh, final trim, we are using Ward spire wild yes that came together quite nicely i'm really happy with those so the final bit of today's episode is going to be a few more clips uh with a few more hermits actually uh i met up with that doesn't go there i met up with rendog and azuma and a few other hermits to help them with their big dig so that's what i'm gonna show you now i go, I, I go play commander on a sunday but uh, oh, cool. uh, competitive magic, uh, like competitive MTG, if you're going to play properly, you need to practice, you need to train, you need to, you know, yep. you need to like put some time into it if you want to do well. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't know. I've just recently had like a a reasonably large, large epiphany this year about how much I really love doing this oh, and yeah. doing what we do, even though like I've always known this. Um, you know, for the over cool. the last year or so, my uh, my channel started to not do so well, and there was a there was a, a time toward the end of the last year where I was starting to consider whether I should think about doing something else. And it was it was just at the at the edge of me losing all of this that I realized how amazingly special this is and how much I love doing it. And I this is these days I wake up. This is all I want to do. I just want to I just want to be on Homecraft and make videos for YouTube. Like, there's just nothing else that, that excites me as much as this does.
Well said. I, I'm in a well similar said. place, Ren. I, yeah. I also think it's the way we just naturally all came closer this season that may have fueled that. Mm -hmm. Yes, for me. Yep. Like if if this were a, if this were a season, I don't know, five or eight or something. Like thanks I'd for the XP, like, No problem. Probably be a bit like, uh, you know what I mean. Like I've yep. done this before, but we're all just like becoming best buds and neighbors this season. It's awesome. I mean, last season with decked out and the TCG, it just it just both of those games just mashed us back together in such a positive way that reinforced a bunch of stuff. I knew that we had fun when we hung out together. It was just hard to find an excuse. And yeah. now that we've all committed to saying, no, we're going to go out of our way to hang out and do stuff. It's great. I actually had like a an epiphany about bundles in my sleep, but then I can't remember <laughs> what it was. Is it the like I've, I've realized a use for them in the game. Oh, they're, the, obviously, they're the most useful thing stay. we have this season, man. Yeah, they're pretty cool. You can put junk they in solve them. all of the inventory issues in I've the used, game. I've used them all oh, the right, time. Right. Yep. Literally all the time. <laughs> all they get, listen, all they got to do to fix inventory is this simple fix, right? Allow us to pick block items out of shocker boxes. So we can have, say, 10 boxes in our inventory. And I want to pick block stone out of one of them and replace the block that's in my hand that I'm holding in the slot. Put it in the spot where it was, where the stone is. Yeah, you're not and... you're not using the item swapper mod, are you? No, I don't need to because my idea is better. <laughs> I don't I don't actually know because I, this is yeah. going in vanilla. Obviously, right. but no, done. but no, for real, like just give me a way to access the blocks without opening a ton of chests. Inventory fixed. That's item swapper mod. Yeah. It's on the server. You can use it. I, I don't know. That sounds cheaty. I just if I hey, can if, if I can do that, then I'm fine, right? Like everything you is. Get the there. item swapper mob, Jed. Yeah. It, it does it for you. You'll love it. It's amazing. Oh, I was just saying in general. I don't, I don't want to use it. But, um, okay. If if we're adding stuff to the game, I'm not settling for anything less than dolphin saddles. <laughs> and I will continue we, we to gotta harass get our best the mod devs. makers on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was talking to Cus. Talking to the talking to Cub and stuff. Hypno the other day, and I'm like, they probably have blocked me on Twitter at this point because I've like dolphin saddled them to death. But I'm dolphin never gonna give up on the on the dreams of of a well, dolphin saddle. I was saddle. actually thinking, I was thinking <laughs> of a boat uh, a boating mod. I was gonna call boat with your feet, where it removes the oars from boats and has a little like leg pedal boat animation, and yeah. then you can eat and fire bows and arrows and stuff while you're moving in the boats. I was I was waiting for you to say, and you control it with your foot pedal. <laughs> well, that, that's actually why I was thinking about it. I was like, man, it'd be cool if I could control my boat with my foot pedals. And then I was like, and then I could also eat with my hands free. And then I was like, wait, there's, there's all, you could do this in game. There's quite I, a few I things. You, I pictured you rowing your boat with your feet and eating food <laughs> IRL. There's a... Like, the thing is, it's so much easier to eat and play the game when you're using the foot pedal for, like... <laughs> There's quite a yep. few things that I would like to have added to vanilla to just make life easier. Number one is what we just talked about with the storage. Number two, allow me to shift click into the two by two crafting square. You can't do that. It's yeah, really obnoxious. Like that I hate like that. that. I, I want to. Yeah. Although I think it, I think yeah. it like overrides the shift click from hot bar to inventory. So like, oh, yeah. there's already a function for that, which is why yeah. it doesn't isn't there. So that uh, I want a slime cartographer. I or it's like a slime chunk cartographer. I want oh, chains that's, to that's, be able I to. That's really clever. Yeah. I want ancient yeah, that's city been a cartographer. For a while. Yeah, ancient, yeah, anything that has a structure, let's let's cartographer it. Then, well, actually, I, actually I, uh, just just to pause you on that, like, okay? Like, I think sometimes it's not a good idea just to default to the same system over and over again. Like they should come up with other systems as well that help you find stuff. That's fair. Right? Yeah, I would be okay with like that. Map for structure is good, but maybe for like biome, something yeah. else. Give me a reason to not use chunk base, basically. Yeah. So, from there, I would like I, that idea. I would like chains to connect to things like walls and fences. That's a, a most obnoxious thing I've ever dealt with. I don't like it. Um. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's probably some other little things that I would want. Um, I'm okay with not having stairs and slabs for everything. That means not a lot to me, because the way yeah, that I see stairs, the way that I the way that I see it is that's their ace in the hole update. They're gonna save that to when they absolutely need it. Um, yeah, well, when when like the reputation's gone down, yep. the pan. And then they're gonna they're gonna be yeah, like, here's stairs and slabs for everything. So 
that's my that's you know i i want quality of life things they don't need to be huge i wouldn't even you know if they don't add dolphin saddles it's more of a gimmick it's fine but there's a lot that they can do with things that are in the game already that are just not there so i don't know i i think about this often so i i have a pretty solid rebuttal to that so <laughs> Is the bundle the only thing from Caves and Cliffs that hasn't been added yet? Yeah. I think that's the last yeah. thing, yeah. Mm. Bundles are the goat, though, I yeah. gotta say. They're, but they're, how? They're all right. They're all right. They just made a better crafting recipe. <laughs> Underestimated. Rip no buns. Fletcher's table cup. What's that? No, sorry, Fletcher's table? Is that the one? Oh, Fletching yeah. Table, yeah. Fletching table yeah. would Please be explain. also in that, in that so, situation. So back in the ancient days of Minecraft, back in uh, 1.14, right? Yep. They updated all the workstations, so the grindstone, the cauldron, the uh, composter, to have some type of functionality besides just being a workstation for villagers, except for the fletching table and the smithing table. Then in 1.16, they added functionality to the smithing table to upgrade diamond tools to netherite, and they recently upgraded that again... Uh, to add armor trims to armor and things. But the fletching table has gone five full years without an update, despite the fact that it was promised on March the 13th of 2019. Love so the exact date. Decade. It's now <laughs> I been... Love the exact date call out. I love it. It's I now been it. over over five full years since, since fletching table functionality was promised. It's time to add it. Time to add someone, it. Someone needs to resign over this fiasco. <laughs> right? We need an inquiry. We need a resignation. <laughs> yeah. On our desk by tomorrow morning. Yep. I agree, though. I, I I fully agree with this. I also yep. think yeah, we need a... Yeah, I want your badge and gun. <laughs> <laughs> we need a stone cutter for wood. No gangsters, right? We need a wood cutter. I agree. You know, like, I, I think all of those way. things mixed with what I uh, said with, like, you know, cartographer and all that. That right there, that's a great quality of life update. It doesn't even need to be any bigger. Just give us stuff yep. that we can use. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those clips. That's all the backlog that I have. Now, I want to talk about what we're going to be doing moving forward. I may have mentioned this already, but sort of a rough game plan for the rest of the season and sort of theming for the base and everything like that. So uh, first and foremost, had a great time with uh, the other hermits there. So I want to continue to build um, our city out in the theme of our base throughout this area here. Um, it'll basically just bump up against Azuma's line over there. I don't know if I'm going to go this way at all. Probably just stick within these fines, conf confines right here because that's kind of the perfect size for what I want. I want sort of a central area. Hold on. Is that grass? What is that? Oh, I'm targeting a block. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I, I want like a central area and some houses around it. It's not going to be hard. So anyways, um, up on the mountain here, we're going to be visiting another castle. I cannot get that idea out of my head. Since last season, I've wanted to do another one uh, and actually finish it this time. So we're going to be doing sort of a forested temple type castle build uh, up on the mountain here. So I've already talked to X about it. This entire mountain range, like basically to right over here is all me. So we're gonna be building here and then back through here. And that's kind of the plan for the season. So like me and X are basically right next to each other the entire time. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. And that's kind of the plan. So when we come back next episode, it's gonna be a really big building episode. We're gonna build out a lot of our city. I'm really excited for that. I want to build a blacksmith, uh, sort of a forested area. And then, by the way, around all of that, there's going to be a forest. So I don't think I'm going to be building out into the central area anymore. Initially, I was going to be building out this way uh, and then in through here. But I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I don't really want to. But I have, that's kind of my plan. Uh, now that I'm starting to feel better. Oh, we need to do something with the post box, too. So I think that's a pretty fun idea. And I hope you guys are excited to see it because I'm ready to get building. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you all for watching. This is Hi Jevin. Peace out, everybody.